Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. And let's enjoy some great music together. All right. So what do we have for our Goonies today? Today, we're going to get back to the ruts. The ruts? The ruts, yes. Mm. I was just in the mood today to check out more of what they have. And there was one song that was asked for by like eight people. So I'm curious. I, I really wanted to get back to it. So this time we're doing Staring at the Rude Boys. Staring at the Rude Boys. Yep. That could start a fight. <laughs> and this, the people who asked for it are Heath Palace. Uh, blah, my mouth didn't work. Heath Palace. There we Heath go. Heath Palace. Jonathan Cole, Shed End, Adam Leroy Davis, BKK Mekong, so Sam Gunston, and The Grumpy Drummer. The Grumpy Drummer? Yeah, The Grumpy Drummer. Ah. <laughs> Well, you don't have to be grumpy. It's an interesting name, though. That's I like true. it. That's true. Well, uh, we've been enjoying the Ruts so far and their music. Yes, definitely. They're quite interesting. They have great talent. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, we're definitely interested in this. This is the Ruts with Staring at the Rude Boys. This is fantastic stuff. It's a great beat. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to listen to, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's an interesting story, for sure. Yeah, I was missing most of it, actually. Well, just, the, I'm only catching a bit. Yeah. Um, just people, you know, I, I can't even explain it. Staring at the Rude Boys. I know I caught that part, and they're yeah. dancing with the Rude Boys. Yeah. And that kind of thing. I didn't really catch what the meaning of the song was. I did hear, oh, what was that? He said something about, oh, I missed the line again. <laughs> missed the line. I did. I, I had it in my head. I was going to mention it, but then I just lost it again. You know, yeah. it happens. <laughs> it's a very small world in the middle of a crowd. When the room gets dark, when the music gets loud. Treble cuts through when the rhythm takes the bite, but there's no room to move because the floor is packed tight. Uh huh. That I caught. I got that. I was like, yeah, I just couldn't remember it. Right I've been in that kind of environment <coughs> before. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. A voice shouts loud, we'll never surrender. A voice in the crowd, never surrender. Hand on the, cr sorry. Hand a hand in the crowd's flying propaganda, never surrender. That's never what surrender. I heard. Something about propaganda. Yeah. So I was like, okay, there's something I'm missing, maybe, but not really. It's just that's all that it was, really. Yeah. The skins in the corner are staring at the bar. The rude boys are dancing to some heavy, heavy ska. Yeah. It's getting so hot, people are dripping with sweat. The punks in the corner are speeding like a jet. Okay. 
and then the chorus. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah. The lights come alive in the blinding flash. Time's so clear as the big tables clash. Everyone leaves when the heavens arrive. Someone hits the floor, someone takes a dive. surrender <laughs> so it sounded like the rude boys were having a great old time dancing in the middle of the floor dancing to some ska mm -hmm. and there were some not so nice type people not so nice type people standing around watching them staring at them staring at them you know mm. thinking about causing trouble for them i'm guessing oh probably you know that kind of thing yeah well you know it's a story. Yeah. But it felt really good until, you know, you realize that there's probably going to be fighting afterwards. There might be, That's yeah. what it felt like. But hey, what a party. Yeah, it was. It was very fun, that song. Yeah. Definitely. And well played. Mm -hmm. Like that drummer was pretty awesome. I liked that. Oh, yeah. He was having a time. Yeah. For sure. Like the whole thing felt good. I like the vocals. Like, yep. like before, I find they're just, they have this really good brightness to them. Yeah. I this like one it. seems very clashy. It is kind of. Mm. Yeah. I like that a, a lot, though. Yeah. Obviously. For sure. No, it's a good sound, for sure. Yeah. You can tell they were thinking about the clash when they wrote this one. Most likely. I mean, the clash did influence a lot of people. Especially those kind of people. Yeah, of Absolutely. course. Uh, you know, that uh, post-punk feel. Yeah. It's, it's, again, the clash kind of leaned in on that a little bit as they got on, too. So. Yeah. But this was a lot of fun to listen to. And mm -hmm. as usual, they probably have a lot of serious messages in their music, even though the music's fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. But that seems the way it seems like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> that's Absolutely. a great way to get your message out. You Absolutely. Know? It's the best way, really. Yeah. You want some good rock and music and some good story. Yeah, know? absolutely. So thank you very much for that request. It was definitely appreciated. It was. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's three dollars a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. <laughs>